Hi there, this is Dev from the Parse Analytics team. In this screencast, I'm going to introduce a new feature we've launched to help you understand the users of your app, the Retention tab. User acquisition is important, but the real key to success is retaining users. Users returning to your app is one of the best indicators of app quality and significantly increases the value generated both for you and your users. Measuring user retention is commonly done by measuring the number of new users who return n days after starting to use your app, or activating. Let's start with a single retention value. For instance, of the 227 users who signed up on April 25th, 40, or 17.6% of them, were active on April 28th. This percentage, called the retention rate, can be measured for a variety of different activation dates and days after activation. This colorful chart, oftentimes called a triangle chart, lays out your re recent retention trends across a range of activation dates and days after activation. Along the left side, we show the activation dates, shown chronologically from oldest to newest. For older dates, we only show one day per week, spaced at one week intervals, to give you a longer term view. Across the top, we arrange days since activation. Again, for older data, we only show one day per week. With this layout, user activity n days after activation is aligned within the same column. The first column shows user retention for one day after activation. Across the rows, we have cohorts, or users who activated on a single day. You can see the drop-off in users in a given cohort the longer time that has passed since activation. So, what do we expect to see here? Typically, there is a rapid drop-off in users after sign-up. Seeing retention between 30 and 50% on the first day is quite common even in successful apps, although retention metrics can vary substantially between different types of apps. If you are retaining fewer than 5% of your new users one day after activation, you may need to do some deep investigation to understand why users are not returning to your app. Irrespective of your current level of retention, you should always be working to improve. Pay especially close attention to user retention after launching new versions. This can provide valuable feedback on how your improvements were received. In this sample data, we can see that a launch on April 26th substantially improved user retention as the one-day retention rate increased from roughly 22% to around 40%. Subsequent retention numbers, shown in the middle columns, also present valuable information, especially for apps that have a deepening engagement model, such as games or social apps. Your initial gameplay or set of content may be compelling, but if you fail to generate new and interesting content on subsequent visits, your users may not continue to return. You may also have issues with re-engagement. A returning user has specific needs around understanding where they left off or what happened since they last engaged. Finally, as you look towards the right of the chart to users with a week or more after activation, you'll find your core and loyal user base. If you can retain greater than 20% of users here, you'll be doing pretty well. Longer term retention is a great way to measure the quality of your acquisition sources. If you ran a campaign on a certain day and saw a spike in new users, but very few of these users remained engaged for more than one week, you may not be targeting the right users or the quality of traffic from this source is not very good. As you can see, these charts provide deep insights into user behavior and can help guide you towards building better apps. I hope you found this screencast useful and happy parsing!